Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create items in monday.com for Shopify orders. Suppose you want that as soon as a new order is placed in your Shopify store, automatically the details of that order should be added in the form of a new item in monday.com. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate Shopify with monday.com and to do the same we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have Shopify in our trigger and monday.com in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that as soon as a new order will be placed in your Shopify store, automatically the details of the same order will be added in monday.com so that you can create a good record of all the orders. And to learn this entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new order will be placed in Shopify store, automatically the details of the same order will be added in monday.com in our board, okay? So let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And when we do that, this URL will take us towards the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free account and it will take only two minutes. Also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Now because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. After coming on the all application section of Pabli, here we can find all the products offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we create and to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And here a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let's give it a name. Add item in monday.com for Shopify purchase. So I have given the name to the workflow according to our objective. So you can give any name according to your choice. Let's click on create. And here we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So trigger and actions are two main concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. And the trigger says when this happens, so the action says do this. That means the action is always a response towards our trigger. Let's understand trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take Shopify in our trigger and monday.com in our action. And we want that whenever a new order will be placed in Shopify for a particular product, automatically the details of the same order should be added in the form of an item in our monday.com board. Okay. This means that our action is following what the trigger is saying. Okay. So let's start creating this workflow. First of all, let's select our trigger application as Shopify. And in our trigger event, we will select new order. So here our trigger event is new order. That means whenever an order will be placed in Shopify, then the response is going to be captured here in Pabli Connect. Okay, so here we can find that a webbook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect our Shopify account with Pabli Connect. First of all, let's copy this webbook URL from here. And then I am going to tell you exactly what you are supposed to do. Okay, so first of all, let me take you to my Shopify account and here from the left side, we have to go on the settings section in order to connect our Shopify account with Pabli Connect. After coming on settings, we can find the option of notifications and under notifications, we have to scroll down until we will find the option of webbooks. Okay, so here this is the option of webbooks. Some webbooks are already created over here. Now to create a new webbook, let's click on create webbook button and we have to enter the details of our webbook okay so first of all we have to select the event now what is our trigger event our trigger event is that whenever a new order will be placed here in shopify then the response should be captured in public connect so in our event we are going to select order creation okay so as we have selected the event as order creation so now on a creation of order, Shopify will send the response with the help of webbook to Pabli Connect. Okay, so we have selected the event. Now the format should be JSON. And here in the URL section, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. In the webbook API version, we have to select the latest one from the drop down. After entering all the details, let's click on save. And our webbook is ready. 
Now let's go back to public connect and it is already showing waiting for web book response. That means we have to do a test submission by placing a test order in our Shopify store. Okay, So let's go and do that. So this is my Shopify store and here are several products which we can purchase in order to place a new order. Okay. So I am going to make a dummy payment here and show you the response. So here let's suppose I'm going to purchase this herbal mask. Let's click on it and this is and we will click on buy it now. So the checkout page is open for herbal mask. Now I'm going to enter the details in order to make the payment. So because I'm doing it in test mode, I am going to enter dummy details. Okay, so first of all, let us enter a dummy email. This is the test email. So the country is already selected. First name, dummy, last name as user. Okay, address, a random address. Apartment name, city, state is already selected, pin code and the phone number. So I am going to enter the phone number as, okay, so it, this is a random phone number. Now let's click on continue to payment. And here because I am doing a test payment, therefore I am going to enter dummy card details also. So this is the dummy card number. Uh, the name on the card will be dummy user. Let us enter a random expiry date and a random security code let's click on pay now and our order is placed okay so let's go back on Papli connect and here we have received the response along with all the details of the product so there is amount product name and the details of the customer now what we are going to do by using these order details we are going to add the item in our monday.com board okay so here we will select our action application as monday.com and in our action event we will select create item click on connect and from the given options let's select add new connection as i am making the connection for the first time and now we have to enter the token so in order to generate a token we have to go on our monday.com and under admin section we will find our token okay so let's go on our monday.com account so this is my board which i have created with the name of shopify orders and this and these are the groups okay so here this is the group one which contains order details all the items are going to be added in this particular board okay so let's generate the token for that we have to go on the profile section on the top right corner and under that we can find the option of administration so this is the admin section and here we have to go on API. So this is my API key. Let's copy it and we will paste it over here. Click on save and our monday.com account is successfully connected with Papli Connect. Now we have to enter the details which it is asking. So first of all, let us select the board name. So here my board name is Shopify orders. I'm I am going to select the same name here from the drop down and we can find that it is already selected. Now, now the next is group name. So the group name is also selected here. Group details. I want to add the items in this particular group. The next is item name. So here we have to enter the name of the item which we have received from the Shopify response. Simply we are going to map the data by using our previous step like this. And here in order to search the data, we can either scroll down or we can even search here in the search bar. So I will search for the item and this is the name of my item that is herbal mask. So I have selected it and it is mapped. So instead of entering it manually why I am mapping this data here because I want that whenever a new response is captured in Pabli Connect through Shopify order automatically these fields should be replaced but if we will enter the data manually then it will become static and then the workflow will stuck okay once setting up this full automation we are not going to change anything one by one manually therefore we use mapping here so that it could be changed automatically the next is name but i have received name in separated fields that is first name and last name separately so we can ignore this field for now and it is asking us for the product name so let us again map the product name so this is the product name we have again mapped it the next is first name so let us map the first name from our shopify response i will search for the first name and it is given over here okay and it is again asking us for the first name so some of the fields are not mandatory over here so i am ignoring them for now i only want major details so i will move on towards last name and yes let's search for the last name here and it is mapped and the next is date 
so here so here from the shopify response i have received the date in a format which i do not want so i have received both the time and the date together i want the date and time separately so how we are going to do that for that we will have to add one more action step in between in order to format this date and here in our action application we are going to search date and time formatter so date and time formatter is basically a feature by pably it allows us to format date and time according to the workflow requirements here in the action event we are going to select so here i am going to select format date only click on connect because i only want the date so here i am going to use format date only function okay so let's select the date which we want to format so hi so here we have received this date and now we have to enter from format and to format so in from format we have to select the format in which we have received the date from shopify response so here i have received the date in this particular format that is year month date hour minute and seconds okay so i have selected it you can check that we have received the date in the same format year month date hour minute and seconds okay and now we have to enter the to format the to format is the format in which we want the date so here i want the date only in this format that is only i want year month and date then click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the correct format of date we are going to use the same date in order to map the data here okay but before that we have to click on connect again so that we can refresh this connection we will go with the existing connection only as we have added one more action step in between therefore we have to build the connection again so that it could be refreshed click on save and here our monday.com account is again connected with pably connect now let's move on and here we were entering the date so let's map the date which we have received from date time formatter response this is the date and it is mapped I do not want to enter the time so I am ignoring it. Now the next is email. So here I am going to enter the email address of the customer. So we will use Shopify response and here the email of the customer is given. We have selected it and it is mapped. Next is phone number. So let us map the phone number also. And here this is our phone number. It is mapped. the last is country code so we have also received the country code let us check yes this is given over here as in so we will map it also and and done so we have mapped all the details successfully let's click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the id of the item which is recently added in our monday.com board so let's go and check so let's go and check on monday.com and here we can find that yes herbal mask as a item is created over here that means our workflow is perfectly successful so let's go back on public connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow so basically we have taken three steps here trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken shopify and in action we have taken date time formatter by pably and monday.com and we have connected all of them by using pably connect in such a way that now whenever a new order will be placed in shopify automatically the details of the same order will be added in the form of a new item in monday.com board okay and we have also used date time formatter in order to format the date according to our choice so it is up to you you can you can use date time formatter according to your choice okay so here these are the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate all these applications now we are going to do one more thing we are going to check our workflow once again by creating an order again in shopify store okay so let's go on our shopify store now here i'm going to purchase this phone of rupees 10000 in order to check whether the details of this order gets added in our monday.com board or not okay let let us open it and i'm going to click on buy it now so the checkout page is open now i'm going to enter the details just random details in order to do a test submission again okay after entering all the details let's click on continue to payment and here i'm going to again enter the dummy card details click on pay now and our order is placed okay so let's go and check whether the details of the same order are received in monday.com or not and yes we can find that the details of the same order is received here okay that means our workflow is successful so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching 
Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the redpably.com. If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.